my brows and foundation are already done. You can click those links above to find out how exactly I did them. And now I'm going to do contour. So going in with my Sigma E70 brush, I'm just going to use the NYX Love in Paris and that gorgeous soft taupe color because it works with my super pale skin. I'm just going to create two very thick lines down each side of my nose from the eyebrow down to the tip of my nose. Now I'm just going to contour my cheekbones with the same taupey color. My temples. And along my jawline. Now with that gorgeous light silver shade, I'm going to apply that directly to the center and inner corner of my lid. Now with the darker silver color, I'm going to apply that to the outer corner and a little bit into my crease. Now with black from the same palette, I'm just going to apply that to the outer corner as well as the crease. Pretty much this is like a super simple smoky eye. Now with my Sigma E21 brush, I'm just going to create a little line underneath my lashes to give that doe-eyed effect. Now with Maybelline Eye Studio Blackest Black Gel Liner and my Sigma E11 brush, I'm just going to create an inner curved tear duct for the deer eye and bring that all the way up above my lid. Now this is gonna be like a super overly drawn, dramatic winged liner. So just big and bold and fill it in, fill in any blanks that you miss. Now creating a lower lash line and some lower fake lashes. That's what it should look like. Now putting on some mascara just to the top lashes because we made a fake lower lash line. Now with my Lotus Mink Fur Lashes, number 83, that's what they look like. I'm just going to apply my falsies. Now with the NYX Jumbo Milk Pencil, I'm going to apply that to my waterline to give myself a bigger doe-eyed look. Onto the lips. I'm just taking an angled brush and the same dip brow that I used for my eyebrows, so the Anastasia dip brow and soft brown. I'm just creating a very, very thin upper lip. That's what it looks like. Now with the same black gel eyeliner I did my liner with, I'm just gonna create a little U underneath my nose and then a straight line right across and fill it in. Now a line from the nose straight down the center of the top lip. Now with the same NYX Jumbo Milk Pencil, I'm just creating dots along my contour lines of my cheekbones, my temples, and that's how it should look. Now applying some amber jewel lenses from Pinky Paradise to finish off that doe-eyed look. That's how the face turns out. Pretty good shit right there. Now, on to some contour. Now, because I lack some titties, I'm just going to contour out what I want my boobs to look like because it just looked like a flat white mess. So, once I've got my titties all figured out, I'm just going to go in with a NYX Milk Pencil and I'm just going to create little dots on my shoulders and along my boobs. Now on to the head, the hair. 
whatever. I took the Wholesale Halloween Costumes headband and you just put my hair in a messy side bun. Now for look number two. I cut out a piece of paper and shaded one side. And then I applied just to the, around the corners uh, some liquid latex just to be able to stick it to my eye. Do not put it on the center of your eye or you will stick it to your eye lashes. Not good. Then I went in with some light pink Mehron paint and I'm just creating a circle all around. Then I'm gonna go in with the black Mehron paint and I'm just creating a circle just around the paper that I put on my eye. Now on top of the light pink, I'm going in with a nice dark red. And then I'm creating some little veins or skin tears hanging down from the inside of the hole. Now with some blue and pink, I'm just creating little highlights and veins in the hole that I just made. Now with my Physician's Formula Liquid Liner, I'm just outlining it to make it really defined. With some glitter, I'm creating a background onto the paper. And with a little strip of my actual background, I'm taking the sequins from it and I'm just gluing them to the paper to make it really look like it's a hole in my head. With some fake blood, I'm just going to cake that shit on. The more gore, the better. Because after all, it is a freaking shotgun hole in my head. Now I'm taking a liquid liner and I'm just brushing out the harsh black line all around just to make it look like it's torn and jagged. So that is the finished gore shotgun head thingamajig. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Hi everyone, it's Caitlin here. So I am like super freaking excited. I am doing a collaboration with the amazing Renata here on YouTube. I really hope I'm pronouncing your name right. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Renata on YouTube and oh, oh my God, can like, I will post her photo right here. This is her look for this collaboration. You have to check her channel out. She is super amazing with super like crazy bold looks, gore, special effects, optical illusion, glamour. Like this, this baby is a whole package. She's just like everything. She's a kit kang and just everything. Oh my god, I'm so happy to be doing this collaboration with her. Like, it is like a life. Who I gotta calm myself down a bit. Gusfraba. Gusfraba. Okay, I'm super happy to be doing this collaboration with her because she is like an idol of mine here on YouTube. Like, a huge beauty guru that I have followed for a long time now. And oh my god, I love her so much. And her work inspires me to just push my boundaries and do new things like this. So, Please do check out Renata's channel. Her picture is right here for this look, right there. Click it, it will bring you to her video for this collaboration. Please do check her out, she's super amazing. And I decided to put a little spin on some holiday Christmas looks. If you guys can't tell, I'm not out of the Halloween spirit yet, so I've gotta do some Christmassy gore looks to make myself happy. And you guys happy, because you guys love watching this. <laughs> In all honesty, I have no idea where you could wear this, like, no freaking clue. Um, because it is holiday, but it's also a gore thing, I don't know, maybe some holiday gore Christmas party? No idea. The first look you could wear to a Christmas party, or like, if you're wanting it to be a deer for Halloween or something like that, that would work too. Um, this you could totally be for Halloween, but as for holiday season, I don't think this is very wearable to Christmas parties or anything like that. So, yeah. I really wanted to try some new things with makeup. I really wanted to do an optical illusion look to make it look like there's an actual hole going through my head. So I thought, why not do a reindeer with a freaking slug wound, just like fucking gun right through the head. How's, like, I don't know how it turned out because I did the makeup with this eye, only this eye, this eye was covered because of the paper. So I'm not really sure how it turned out, but I really hope it looks good on camera for you guys because I did my best. This is new for me, so hopefully it's okay. Also, what do you guys think of my new background? Do you like this uh, curtain or do you prefer me in front of my makeup table? Uh, I would really like, like to know what you guys 
think looks better, either the curtain or my makeup table, because then I will do my videos from now on like that. Or I could just switch it back and forth. I could have this background for my review videos and my makeup table for my regular makeup videos. Let me know in the comments down below, okay? That would really help me out as to my makeup videos. Now back to this look. Like I said, if you're a stalker of mine, you'll know that I love gore. I love everything gore. I love to make double looks, like a two-in-one look. So the first one was the reindeer. The second one, of course, is the gore reindeer. Yeah. <laughs> Um, if you guys want to know the products that I use, I will link all of them down in the description bar below. So do click that and you will find out where I got stuff, what stuff is, everything is down there. Also, I have a bunch of coupon codes if you guys would like to purchase anything from certain websites. It doesn't help me out, it's actually just a coupon code for you guys. Um, it gives you money off, you know what I mean? Why not? Money off? Cheaper stuff? Awesome! So I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed creating it. Don't forget to like, share, favorite, and subscribe to my channel to watch more of moi, as well as comment down below if you like my curtain background or if you like my makeup table background. Let me know in the comments down below and stay beautiful guys, okay? Bye!